Geometry Dash World is a secondary app for Geometry Dash, seeking to bridge a gap between newer and older players. It also hopes to gain a recurring audience, players who will come back daily, by giving out quests, loot, and a new level every day. The game is a smart and necessary move by Robtop to try to gain new players prior to one of Geometry Dash's largest updates, however it's quite flawed in its execution. Due to the game's structure and formatting, it ends up widely disappointing both longtime players and new ones, with easy, unsatisfying levels, an enormous amount of spoilerful leaks, a general feel of incompletion, and the loss of any hype previously had for 2.1. The levels in Geometry Dash World fail to entertain both new and old players. Let's start by looking at the game from the perspective of a new player. I assume some of you guys are aware of the channel Dashy Games. He has more than 3 million subs and usually has rage-filled reactions or loud screams from horror and platformer games. He made a video covering the original levels of Geometry Dash a while back. SHIT! Wait. Do you stop at the beginning if you fuck up? From the very fucking beginning? Now, let's take a look at a video of him playing Geometry Dash World. But, yo! I gotta see if this one's gonna give me fucking nightmares! Like the other joint did. So without further ado, let's do that fast! Okay, stop. That's it? Hold on, is it gonna drop some more? Nothing. Even he, a new player, is surprised at how short the level is. It didn't take him any time to complete, and he seems almost unsatisfied with the difficulty of the level. Even on levels when he does get angry, he still manages to beat the level extremely quickly, and is not in the least bit excited when the level finishes. And that is one of the issues Robtop didn't seem to realize. Geometry Dash's appeal to players new and old has always been the challenge of it all. There will always be a level that seems too hard for you to ever be able to beat, but the struggle, the rage, allows you to keep going, and when you finally beat the level, the 10 stars feel all the more satisfying. Because of all of this, Geometry Dash World is too easy. The original 10 levels pose very little challenge to anyone due to their length and difficulty, and the featured levels rarely are more difficult than blast processing or can't let go. Daily levels range from good levels that can be easily beaten in just a few attempts, all the way down to simple, boring, empty husks that contain nothing more than a moving background and some rough gameplay. Although there's usually around 50 levels in the featured section, at the time of making this video it contained levels from only 30 different creators, with some people like Adiel, Lilbin, and Burke having 4 features apiece. Even the creators themselves mentioned the levels had boring design. And it begs the question, if this type of stuff is going to be displayed front and center, why bother making good levels? If the levels with complex original design aren't rewarded, what's the point in trying? This is a message that isn't new. I remember in 1.9 that many people complained about Sweet Dude's levels getting featured all the time where theirs wouldn't just because he was famous and they weren't. But Geometry Dash has pushed that message to an extreme, forcing some of my favorite creators to have to conform, adjusting their styles to be feature worthy. After beating the first 10 levels, the Keymaster informs you that online levels have opened up, giving you access to lots of new panels to experiment with. Several of them are closed off, with the message explaining that they will be unlocked in a later update. Quickly, however, many of the game's flaws were exposed. The game appeared to be a modified 2.1, only copying parts of the future updates to a new application, and walling off secret parts of the game to the general public. But with some knowledge of game development and the APK file, people were able to completely obliterate the secrets of Geometry Dash 2.1 and expose many of its features simply by removing the code walls within Geometry Dash World. By this point, some people have gotten as far as to be able to reveal the final vault. It feels like a lot of these features could have been removed by just simply deleting blocks of code from these places or hiding game assets from view. All of this together contributes to a seemingly broken game. Half the time I was playing, I felt as if I was playing a buggy 2.1 where I could only access some levels and some of the features. Although Geometry Dash World is more than a year newer than 2.0, it feels far worse and slightly broken. Granted, the game is free, but all the more reason why 2.1 features shouldn't be deep inside of the game. All these leaks made Geometry Dash World feel less than it could have been, as if all the grayed out buttons could have been new exciting features of World, yet they're still unavailable. After most people solved the vault puzzles, it felt silent. People asked, that's it? 
The game felt underwhelming as a precursor for 2.1, and it ruined any hype people had for the next update. I do think part of Geometry Dash World's purpose was to hype up 2.1. Many people were expecting the big update to come before Christmas break, and when it didn't, Geometry Dash World appeared out of nowhere, filling the void in the hearts of revenue-hungry YouTubers. But the game instead took people's eyes off the update and it to Geometry Dash World instead. When's the last time a Guitar Hero Styles video about 2.1 appeared? It seems as if that was all he could think about for the last 8 months, but now the spotlight's on GDW instead. I assume this is in some way on purpose, as Robtop has disappeared to try to finish the update, but 2.1 is suddenly overshadowed by a very underwhelming game. Most likely, the only differences between 2.1 and World is that you aren't walled in. 2.1 will have gauntlets, Hall of Fame, and more, as well as creating and searching re-enable. But the quests, daily levels, chests, and more will presumably carry over from World to 2.1. Personally, if any features besides the 10 main levels didn't carry over, I'd be pretty disappointed with the new update. But most likely, this will cause Geometry Dash World to become the new Geometry Dash Lite. If this is true, why would you release it far before 2.1? Assuming I was a new player, I might play World and enjoy it. Seeing the features blocked off, I might be inclined to buy the full version, only to find I'm left with 2.0, and many of the features I was accommodated to, now non-existent. This is my problem with the game. It largely discounts the value of a single release date. It feels as though it's a beta that was released to the entire public. It tries to be sold as a full game, but ends up coming off as a preview, a bug test, or a fraction of what it could have been. Overall, I feel like the game is stuck in a state of limbo in almost all regards. The game should be new, but gales in comparison to 2.0's features. The levels are meant to challenge new players, but end up unsatisfying to nearly everybody. Everything in the game just doesn't work. Don't get me wrong, I still love Geometry Dash and I think it's an amazing game, and I still look forward to see what 2.1 has in store. But the leaks, the levels, everything has made me really skeptical of the new update, or at least far less hyped than I used to be.